What's up guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we're heading down to Nashville. I am going to be part of a songwriting round and Luke is coming along. We might do some busking down there too. But right now we just passed Knoxville and uh, we're about two hours away from Nashville. So I'll keep you all updated and uh, I'll uh, video when we get there and everything. Well, we arrived at the Rusty Nail in Nashville, Tennessee. There's the other sign. We're sitting in the car because it looks like it's getting ready to rain. But we're gonna go downtown Nashville since we don't, I don't play for another, uh, something like four hours or something like that. But yeah, we made it here. Woo! <laughs> Johnny Cash Museum Bar and Restaurant sign. That'd be an awesome place to play. It says they got live music there. Almost in the in the middle of Nashville. Hey, there's your, uh, your bar. It says Luke's. <laughs> it already is some live music going on. It's awesome. Stumbled upon upon the Ryman. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Look at that. That's pretty cool. We're getting ready to visit Third Man Records, the Nashville location, Jack White's record store. It is. Me and Luke are getting ready to do this automatic recording studio thing at Third Man Records. to put on the record look at that look at us in this little tiny sh this is a recording studio <laughs> having fun let's do it Good old whip. 
Bill Blue, coming from the Zade Brothers at Crow Holler. So I gotta I gotta restring my guitar. We made it to the Rusty Nail in Nashville, Tennessee. Super excited to be here. They got to they rang the newcomers bell for us. Uh, I didn't get that on video. It was all right, but I gotta restring my guitar because I broke the string last time I was playing it. So I think I'm just gonna do the one string that one right there. Playing here. I want to tell them about what we did in uh, while we're in Nashville. We got to do yeah. We went went down went down to ne downtown Nashville and we. Uh, Third Man Records has a shop down there. There's three in the entire world. There's one in Detroit, Michigan. And there's one in London. And then there's one in Nashville. We went to the one in Nashville because we just so happened to be there. <laughs> and uh, they have a, re a booth where you can go and record your own record. It's, uh, I think, something like 20 bucks. But it's a vintage booth. Back in the day, it was 35 cents. And you could mail it to like a loved one or something. Johnny Cash actually did it while he was in the Air Force. He mailed it to his uh, first wife. Vivian, and uh, but we recorded two songs on there. We'll get some footage of that once we get back to the college because there's no record player around. There. Actually, I think I got some footage. Oh, Luke uh, might have got some footage earlier at the at the record store. Oh yeah, we did get footage of the record. I got... Uh oh, I didn't bring any guitar straps. Wait a minute, I just I now bought one. <laughs> I don't have to use yours. I no, you're gonna use it. Other you're gonna use it. It's gotta be used. It. Okay. Yes. All right. I did... Unless you don't want to. I, I would like to, but you have your Think other about guitar. the coincidence. I didn't want to buy it. <laughs> and it then I saw it. It unraveled, and I saw that it had white stripes on the back of it. And so I had to buy it then. Yeah. And then now, you didn't bring a, you didn't bring a guitar strap. You got to so head back home. I, <laughs> yeah, we got to head home. No, I, now that I have one, I bought one. With, I mean, it was a calling. I had to get that guitar strap. I guess so. You can call it that. <laughs> Alright, Blaine's tuning up. As you can see, he got my guitar strap on him. The reason why I didn't want to buy it is it has like, I didn't know if I absolutely needed it. But then I turned around and it had the white stripes on it and I said that I needed it. <laughs> it unraveled mysteriously and for a reason so that Blaine can play it. We might switch it out. I don't know. Huh? We might switch it out. I don't know if it fits the look yet. <laughs>
Also, our sponsors, Black and American Whiskey. That is Metallica's whiskey brand. And there's a whole sonic aging process they go through. It's really cool. No, no other whiskey company does that kind of stuff. They literally age their whiskey bottles to Metallica theme track. So uh, definitely try that out. It's five bucks tonight during the round. And uh, Coors Light. This, uh, we're, we're proud to be partnered with Coors Light. We've got $3 drafts for y'all. So make sure you enjoy that. But uh, I'd like to introduce our songwriters tonight. We have a lot of great, talented musicians out here. Uh, thank you all for coming. Um, one of my best friends, Mel, uh, is going to play her first round here tonight. And I can't, I'm so stoked about it. She's got a voice of an angel. She writes great songs way beyond her years. And uh, we got Dash Paz up here. He's back. And uh, Blaine. Blaine Sage, so kind of Johnny Cash sounding dude. I, I really like the music, man, and uh, I'm happy you can make it out. So, who wants to kick us off? Blaine, you want to kick us off? Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, I'll start with this uh, kind of slow song over here. It's uh, called the Killing Path.
you. Hello, uh, my name is Dash Paz. Uh, the first song I'm play, you guys, uh, I just released a single on Spotify and anywhere you stream music. Uh, this is called Over and Over, and I wrote it just uh, about trying to let go, but you just can't.
next song is actually kind of a, a mixture between both y'all songs. This one's about uh, trying to stay out of trouble, but you know, you're at the bar and the girl comes and talks to you and starts going alpha on you. Uh, this one's called Trouble Now. <laughs> surrounded by people, all your friends are starting to get married and it starts to feel a little uh, suffocating. So it's about that. Yeah. 
And this one's called uh, Bartender Hitman. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna hit the town. Cause 
How was it? Very good. What are you doing now? Getting ready to sign the wall. We had such a great time that I had to, you know, screw things up. So, lock my keys in my trunk. Yeah, we're about to leave. It's nine o'clock. We have a five-hour drive ahead, and we have to call a locksmith, and wait for him to come down here and unlock the trunk, so I can see if I leave left my keys in there. I'm not even sure if I left my keys in there. I'm just guessing because I had to do stuff back there. But, yeah, that's the Sage Boys for you. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Two hours later and locksmith. So the locksmith opened. He, he was able to pop open this door, thankfully. But a little balloon thing that Yeah. And then But we couldn't unlock the car because it had the uh it there were um It's all electrical. Yeah. So, so we had to come all the way back here. And Blaine had to get my knife and MacGyver the seats all the way down so we could climb back there. And Luke popped the other seat out by climbing in there. And then, mind you, we don't even know, we didn't even know that this was back there. Yeah, we just took, like, a, we just, took a gamble on we that. We took a gamble that there would be, my keys would be back there. This is why you have a lanyard and this is why you don't, you don't do things like this. This is stupid. You should never, oh, I don't know why I thought. I yeah. would leave my keys back there. We're, I didn't, you know, I didn't even know. We were yeah. almost stranded in Nashville for the night, but here we are at the uh, at the rusty nail. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna head on home. Leave. 